Hey guys, Break here. Welcome back to day 35 of the Gold Cap Challenge. Look at this. I love it when this happens. People basically just buy every term of illusion at once. So you get a quick 10k gold and they literally cost like 2k to make. So nice profits there. Let's open up the mail, see what we've got. I don't think it's a lot. It's not, it's only 46k. What have we sold? Some mats, some transmog, hardly any of my gems because they all got undercut, so that's why the sales are not very high. I've also been buying out a load of cheap pandemonites, so I get them for like 2.5k, which is really, really cheap, and I use them to make my saber's eyes, so I just buy them in advance, which is fine. Now, today we are going to be doing the quests on my demon hunter, who's now level 110. So we can get the new recipes and everything for alchemy and inscription. As I've said before, the annoying thing for me is that I can't repost my auctions at prime time, realm time. So sort of in the evening when everyone's buying their auctions, I'm not there to cancel and make sure mine are the cheapest because I'm asleep. Because I live in the UK. So the kind of latest that I can repost is about... 8 p.m. realm time and even that's like 2 a.m. my time so I have to go to bed late just to sort of get a tiny bit of that prime time and usually people do their raids and then come back and buy gems to put in their new gear so I completely miss out on that which is very annoying but I can't really complain I'm still making some nice gold check this out we have two quests for bloods two world quests from the same person Never seen that before, but I'm not complaining either. I'm going to try and make another Farming Fables today as well. Went down really well last time. Not sure what I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to do my farm in Diamond East to try and get the Paladin uh, Secret Appearance item for the artifact, as well as some Transmog, so we'll see how that goes. Should be good. And right now I'm just going to kill some mobs like I always do first time I log on in the morning because I really want some bloods. A lot of you told me that the legendary I got last episode is best in slot for resto druids. So that's really good to know. I didn't actually know that. I thought it was good but I didn't know it was that good. I don't know if everyone's seen the sort of new changes coming to legendaries in the new patch they're basically letting you target them so you can sort of find a gear token of your choice and it's got a chance to be a legendary so it kind of lets you target which legendary you want so that should help the people who still haven't got their best in slot legendary still have the useless legendaries which was me on my eu account for ages I got that stupid neck first and then I got this chest which was also rubbish, both utility. But then I finally got the braces and now I got the ring on this guy as well so things are looking up. Just checking on my pets, got a couple of cheeky sales. My crawdad just sold for 38k and I bought it for like 15k and my piglet sold for 9k, I think I bought it for about 5k. So that's all good. It's reset day tomorrow. I always forget. I'm used to reset day being Wednesday. It's really weird to have reset day on Tuesday. I kind of got Wednesday because it was like the middle of the week. But Tuesday is just... It's not a Monday. And it's not a Wednesday. It's a Tuesday. It's weird. Time for the profession quests on my Demon Hunter. Going to start getting up all the recipes for my alchemy and inscription. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see if it can be profitable. It's annoying because Azuna was the only zone I didn't do when I was leveling up. And now it's the zone you always have to come to to do the quests. But it's okay. It's annoying because I already did this before on my EU account. But I do really like the new system in Legion. Where you have to kind of earn the recipes and rank them up and everything. It's really bad for alts. But I think it's just a lot more interesting. Especially compared to the wad system where you just kind of got everything straight away so yeah that's cool especially with inscription where I keep just randomly learning new recipes with each new quest I do 
new glyphs, etc., which is cool. Forgot how many dungeon quests you had to do for professions. Really annoying. Especially because I've got no idea how to play Demon Hunter, and I'm in 790 item level. It's not great, but I've been starting to learn a few glyphs. And the profits are looking pretty nice on my server, at least for inscription, so that's always good news. The Term of Tranquil Mines make me 100 gold each. Sell them in stacks of 20 for some nice profit. Obviously the toys, all the glyphs make me a pretty decent amount. And as for alchemy, haven't checked that yet, but I don't really know anything, so the prolonged powers sell for alright. But yeah, definitely Inscription is looking like it could be pretty good on my server. And we'll have to see about Alchemy, wait till I get all my flasks and everything, and then we'll see. But really, unless you have rank 3 for Alchemy, you don't make much profit. The main reason I got Alchemy was for all the daily sort of transmutes. And like the cool pets and mounts you can make from other expansions. It's always a nice profession to have on a server, so... That's why I've gone for it. So I'm going to finish off the day leveling up my professions. Lots of you have asked what's the best way to level up. Basically it's to get the Draenor mats, the Draenor recipes, and level up with those because it's really, really cheap. So for inscription, what you want to do is get 600 Cerulean pigments. I just bought them for like, I think I spent 3,000 gold to get 600, so it's basically nothing. Or you can mill the herbs, but I couldn't be bothered. And you want to make 300 of these. So I'll get back to you when this is done. It's going to take 10 minutes. Lucky me. We're inking, we're inking, inking every day. Oh yeah, I hit 2,000 subs. Kind of forgot about that. But yeah, that was great. I think we're at 2,100 now. I'll be doing another big giveaway at 3,000 subs. Probably be giving out two WoW tokens this time. I suppose I have to do a bit better than the last time because it's 3,000 subs. It's pretty nice. So yeah, thanks everyone for all your support and let's keep on growing and yeah, keep all your comments coming. I enjoy reading them. I try and answer as many as I can. Okay, once you made 300, you want to create Research Warbinders Inc. That gives you three levels each, so this should get you up to 600 inscription. There we go. Super, super, super easy way to hit 600. Once you've hit 600, you can start using the Legion recipes to get up the remainder of the levels. Basically, until 740 or 750, you can just make Tome of the Tranquil Mines. They make a ton of profit on my server as well, so it's doubly as good. I'm actually making gold leveling. And then the rest of the levels you just create prophecy turrets and you've got to go to the Dark Moon Fair to get rank 3 of that. But for inscription it doesn't actually matter what level you are to be honest. You don't need to be 800 for anything so I'm not too bothered. I'm just going to keep on making my Tranquil Mines and my Glyphs and we'll go on from there. You can also just right click on all these to learn the Glyphs that you don't already know. So this is just a super efficient way to be honest. It teaches you all the glyphs and it's basically free. So let's see what milling does on my server. Buying 12 Felwort for 1920 gold. We'll see what we get from milling it. Here we go. And again, I really want to get mass milling. Okay, didn't get it there. So mass milling 10, which is 1,600 gold, about, and I got 20 salad pigments, which is 2,800, plus another 4 roseates, which is what, another 100, so 2,900. So I made basically 50% profit just from that. So milling obviously gets me quite a lot of profit as well. Inscription is looking really good. I think I'm going to be making a lot of gold with this. I'll do it again with a slightly larger sample. Paid the same price, 165 gold each. And it looks like we're getting the same sorts of yields. Easily. Really nice yields. Look at this. 
So I got 140 Salad Pigments, which equals about 11k, and 17 Roseates for another 400. So that's about 11,500 gold. Spent 6,500 to make it, so I'm making almost double my profits just from milling, which is incredible, really. So I'm going to try and sell these, see what it's looking like, and just add it to my daily routine, this whole milling thing. Still making a lot of gold on my server. I've heard from a few others that on your servers it's also making you a load of gold. The great thing about milling is you only have to be level 1, so anyone can do it. So yeah, let me know how it goes. I'll level up alchemy tomorrow, but yeah, look at the glyphs as well. Where are they? Not here, down the bottom. Here they are. Look at the profit all the glyphs are giving me as well. So I'll just add these to a crafting group, make one a day, try and sell them all on my main. And yeah, it'll be a bit like the transmog market. It's just extra passive income that sells occasionally. The term of illusions sell really well on my server, so I'm sure these will as well, which is very nice. But that's about it for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and until next time, see ya!